goddamn bathtub gin. Man's fiance leaves him for another bloke. You'd hope he could at least get some decent liquor. Sam Joel, expert salesman. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Look at me. I can't afford a ring. Oh, but Jack. Oh, Jack, yeah. He can afford to put a ring on every single one of her fingers. You know, everyone's got debts. Mine, yeah, they're probably bigger than most, but Annie wasn't that type of girl. Maybe you talk too much, kid. At least, I didn't think she was that type of girl. You'll find that people are rarely what they see. <laughs> What'd your girl leave you to? Oh, I know a lot about heartbreak. The way it burns inside your guts like gunfire. Your hands get cold, your throat scratchy like your daddy's old records. You close your eyes and you see her touching his cheek as he picks her up in that fancy new car. And she's wearing that dress that you bought her. I wonder, will he kiss the inside of her wrist? Stop! Stop! God, I hope... I hope he drives it off a cliff. I hope they both rot in hell together forever. And that can be arranged. Excuse me. All I need is a signature. A signature? Blood. Oh, what? Ink's not good enough for you? <laughs> I just need something a little bit more personal, so... No, I don't think I ever caught your name, sir. You don't recognize me? A church-going pastor's son like you, Sam? Or is it Charlie? You're not going by Clarence again, are you? That name does not suit you. And neither does the honest life, it seems. You're good for one thing and one thing only, sweetheart, and that's running away from the people you owe money to. Well, your services aren't required, thanks. Why not? Drinker, gambler, card sharp, murderer. So is mine in the end, Sam, and we both know it. So, why not get something you want out of the bargain, hmm? It's only fair. Just a signature? Cross my heart. Barman, another drink for my friend, please. Morning, sunshine. Been waiting a long time for this. Russell. Samuel. I expected you years ago. Lost your trail around Louisiana, but I never stopped looking. I used to lay awake at night, terrified someone was going to find you before I could. Look, it was self-defense, Russell. Your brother had a knife. You stole his girl. 
And then you killed him. Now it's my turn. The poor boy practically begged me to take his soul. He was looking for you in New Orleans, of all places. Although I think in the end, you had the better bargain. You don't have enough time to regret the decision. Most people do. Ha, 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 ha.